again and welcome. Today I'm going to be turning a goblet, which is something I haven't done on video for quite a while. And I'm going to be turning it out of this uh, piece of uh, ash, which is about seven and a quarter inches long by three inches square. And what I intend to do is when I finish turning it is to colour it. Uh, have a base colour and then um, apply the hot glue method that I did in a couple of videos ago to that bowl and, um, and see how it turns out. And we'll go over to the lathe now and we'll get cracking. So I have this piece of ash mounted between centres. I'm going to turn it to round uh, with a spindle roughing gouge. Then form a tenon on, the, uh, on one, one end to hold it in the chuck. Remount it in the chuck and then start turning, turning the goblet. Just about 1800 revs. of the inside so what I'm going to do is to sand up the inside to 600 and then I can carry on outside and uh, finish the profile and the rest of the goblet. Okay so now I've sanded the inside of the goblet bowl to 600 and I'm going to leave that natural I'm not going to colour that so I'm going to do my usual and uh, put two coats of sanding sealer, mix on, denibbing between each coat and then apply um, Hampshire Sheen and the inside of the goblet will, help you, will then be done. So I'm just about to buff out the second coat of um, Hampshire Sheen, lay that nice and high, just about 2000 revs and nice even pressure to finish off and that's the inside of the goblet. Okay finished. so now we've uh, done the inside of the bowl and as I was doing the inside I had some different ideas with regards to the final shape and I really don't know what it's going to end up like but uh, we'll just see how it how it progresses and after all said and done this video isn't about turning a goblet it's about the the colouring and using of the hot glue so just sit back see what evolves and uh, we'll get that done and get on with the colouring
mentioning. Um, I just wanted to make that a bit more of a uh, an acute um, curve or cove into the stem, and I was getting some vibration. So I'm just using a tennis ball here and bringing up a hollow um, live centre just to afford a little bit of support that will reduce the chance of a vibration. So, I have now sanded up the outside of the goblet to 600 grit and now I'm going to use uh, chestnut spirit stain. I'm going to stain everything in the red <coughs> and then let that dry completely and I'll most probably aid the drying process with uh, the aid of a heat gun. When that's completely dry, um, I'm then going to apply um, the sanding sealer because I found that's the best way to uh, protect the colour when you put the hot glue on because when you uh, remove the hot glue uh, sometimes it will lift up the colour as well so we'll have to see and then I intend to, after I've um, put the sanding sealer on the colour on the spirit stain, I then intend to randomly um, put hot glue on there and then use um, black ebonizing lacquer over the top, peel it off and we'll see what we come up with. Uh, the other reason for doing the inside of the bowl uh, completely is that hopefully the, the, the sanding sealer will stop any bleeding onto the inside of the bowl of the spirit stain. That's the theory but we'll see if it works. So what I'm going to be using an ultra-fine uh, 3M um, sanding pad and uh, <coughs> just literally going over it very lightly to try and get a more even surface with regards to colour. Okay, this is going to get messy. Um, I'm not very happy with the way it's taken in there, but I mean, it, you're not going to see all of it, so I'm just going to carry on. And let's just see what happens. I've changed the belt on my lathe now, so I'm it's rotating at about uh, 55 RPM, very slow. And uh, it's going to get messy, but let's just see what happens. I'm doing it as randomly as possible. because I don't want all radial lines and then I'm going to turn it by hand and do some um, some lines the other way of glue and uh, we'll see how we go. Okay now I've very crudely covered up the lathe and the chuck and everything else with um, masking tape etc. I'm not going to turn the lathe on. I'm now going to use um, the chestnut ebonizing spray and uh, let's see what happens? Well, I'll carry on with this until I'm happy with the coating. Um, let it dry and then we'll reveal what's underneath the glue. I've allowed about an hour to dry and um, I think that means okay. So now comes the fun part, taking all the glue off and I've brought up the tennis ball again with the tailstock just to give some support while I'm picking the glue off. So let's go.
Okay, I'm quite pleased with the overall effect. What I'm going to do now is to use um, some acrylic spray sanding sealer. So I'll give it a, um, a whack with the old sanding sealer, let that dry off, dean it again, and then um, I'll come back when I'm putting the final coat on. So now I'm going to be applying um, some Hampshire Sheen. Nice even pressure. And I think it's come out rather well. So all remains to do now is to part him off. And there is our finished goblet. I'm very pleased with it. I'll take the nub off at the bottom there and I'll put some photographs up at the end. There's a little bit of overs overspray there, but um, I'll just use some 00 wire wool on that and just put some more wax on and that'll get rid of that. So, all in all, I think it's quite successful. Um, maybe give you some ideas. Well, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.